Hello! Today I'm going to be testing out pastel mat for the first time by drawing this strawberry dipped in chocolate. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep watching. I begin with the leaves at the top and start putting down base layers with pastel pencils. And I'm using the Carbothello Stabilo pencils. I start with the mid-tone greens and then go in with some darker and lighter shades over the top. And I'll bend everything out with a cotton bud. Um, the coverage is really even but there's still a slightly grainy appearance on the very surface so I continue to build up layers with the pastel pencil and then at the end I go over the top coloured pencil and I'm using the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. The pencils layer on top of the pastel really nicely and I'm especially surprised with how you can layer lighter colours on top of darker ones on this paper. Um, not only that but they're still really vibrant depending on how hard you press down with your pencil. I map out where I want the different colours and shades to go but I'm not massively precise as I know that I'm going to come back to the leaves later on and judging by how you can layer light and different colours on top of each other the paper is quite forgiving in that way and that if you are out a little bit you can go back over and fix it. So before moving on to the strawberry, I take a piece of tracing paper down to the drawing board um, just for my hand to rest on to prevent smudging. Um, it doesn't take much for pigment to grip onto this paper if you have anything on the side of your hand. And then I use a light yellow colour pencil to fill in the seeds. And then I go and put base layers of different reds and browns and oranges in pastel pencil and then blend them out with the cotton bud. I could use a lot more pastel on the base layers than I am at this point but I was a little bit wary of filling the tooth too soon but this is something that I really didn't need to worry about at all. I then go over the top with the coloured pencils and I'm able to get a better colour match to the reference photo um, with coloured pencils than I am with pastel pencils. I use about six different reds and coloured pencil, some are cooler and some are warmer with orange tones and I layer them on top of each other. If I feel like the red is starting to get a bit dull with trying to darken it, I can go over the top with a warmer red and an orange and it brings the saturation back. For the darkest shadows on the right side, I layer browns and dark purples over each other and also where the um, in between the seeds on the right hand side there's a bit of a like a pin tuck effect going on so I'll pay attention to the shadows and highlights around those as well. The seeds were the infuriating part um, for me and if it hadn't have been for those it probably would have been a really really quick process. So for the seeds I layer yellows, greens and browns over each other. The part I found tricky was getting a really defined edge around the seeds and also around the whole piece. Even though I had a really sharp point on the Polychromos pencils, I found that I couldn't achieve a really precise line without it being too dark or without pressing down quite hard. And when I would go over it again with a lighter pencil, it would lose the definition. So when I finished, I mean those lines still look grainy, but I kind of gave up. Um, I got a bit sick of repeatedly going over them. The paper takes so many layers of pencil and pastel to use up the tooth that it does take a lot of time to flatten the grain out. For highlights I don't use any white at this point but a flesh coloured pastel pencil and an ivory coloured pencil and if I do use a white it's, it's to lighten it up rather than to make a white harsh highlight. Chocolate was the part I was really looking forward to. Again, I started with pastel pencils, but then I decided to switch to pan pastels. As pan pastels go on really smoothly, and I found you can mix the exact colour that you want. I also wanted to fill up more of the tooth faster so that I wasn't endlessly layering coloured pencil over the top. Doing the highlight part of the chocolate, I still had to pay attention to lighter and darker areas. It isn't just one block of colour. There are more highlighted bits and shadows as well. 
And even though there was a really good layer of perfectly smooth pan pastel down there, when I tried to go over the slightly darker areas with a pencil to darken it up a bit, it went on really grainy and it was the same with trying to glaze over darker colours with lighter colours. I was having to repeat putting dark back over that and then the light again and then putting dark back over that and then light again just over and over again until it smoothed out so that did become a bit tedious. However when it finally did smooth out it was um, a really good finish. So pros and cons. Pro of the paper is that it has a lot of tooth so you're able to layer a lot with pastel and pencil but even though it's got a lot of tooth it's really smooth if you feel the texture of the paper it's it's like a really 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 fine sandpaper it's not honeycomb the way that pastel papers are there's also no need for fixatives so you know you're not stopping and starting and you're not running the risk of potentially ruining your piece if something goes wrong with the fixative or the colour change that fixatives can do to your work after you've sprayed them. The ability to layer light colours over darks was amazing. It comes in a variety of sizes and colours and you can get it in pads and sheets. It's advertised as light fast and it works really well with pan pastel, pastel pencils and coloured pencil. So the cons. It's really grainy when you try to glaze, so you have to keep going over it again and again. And I would say probably the biggest con for a lot of people is the price. The A4-ish pads are between £20 and £27 for 12 sheets. Another con is the paper really grabs onto lint, dust. It's really easy to mark if you have anything on your hands. I'll definitely be buying a part of the paper when I've used up these trial sheets. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.